Hello and welcome to Northern Homestead. Today we want to show you how different plants react to frost. We had about minus three degrees in our garden and all the summer crop froze, but not every crop froze. And that's what we are showing you. I did a picture comparison about this subject a few years ago because I was just blown away how plants react to frost. And today we wanted to show you that in a short video but the link to that post would be below make sure to check that out too here's a zucchini plant that is completely frozen like it's totally dead this was a big plant and below the peas are actually continued to flower but it got some damage too and then you see the beets the beets are doing great like there is no frost damage whatsoever we will harvest them soon but they will be only sweeter then here you see a broccoli plant again it has absolutely no damage nothing happened to it and if you go over to a kohlrabi plant which is a cabbage plant as well it seems to have a little bit of damage, but again, not enough, you know, to damage the plant. It continues to grow. Here's another zucchini plant that is completely frozen. And next to it are carrots, and they do great. And again, the carrots will only be sweeter after the frost. So we actually leave them to have some frost to be sweeter. We didn't just get frost, we also had snow, so some plants couldn't hold that, so they bent over. Like here, the Swiss chest that went to seed, couldn't hold it. But the leaves of the Swiss chard are still good, but they got some damage. Next to it, the cucumbers are completely frozen. But the leak that is in between is still holding on. Strawberries are very hardy too. But the tomatoes next to the strawberries are not hardy at all. They completely froze. And as you see here, the fruit is frozen too. So if I hadn't harvested most of it, we would have lost it. The tomatoes in the raised garden bed are frozen too. So this protected garden cannot protect from frost which is important to know we build it to have a microclimate but not frost protection so we harvested most of these tomatoes too because we knew they would freeze the grapes can have some frost surprisingly and the berries are actually just get sweeter same is true in the flower garden some flowers are hardy and some are not. The hardiest flower in our experience is the snapdragon. Hope you follow us on our blog, northernhomestead.com, and we'll see you next time.